talking on the phone. Um, Kinsey and I have been friends for about almost nine years now. We met on New Year's Eve. And as soon as I met her, I was like, I want to be friends with that girl. Just can't wait to have you Say, say to you is uh, get ready to say goodbye to Walsh. <laughs> get, ready. get ready. Get ready to say hello to the Martys. Uh, my brother is one of the most impressive people I know to this day. Because of the way that he's adjusted and developed and progressed throughout his entire life. Kinsey is truly one of the most like kind people I've ever met and she's so compassionate for everybody in her life, animals, her family, her friends. She puts everybody else above herself and that is truly something I've admired about her since I became friends with her. She's gotten me through some of my hardest times of my life as she does for everybody in her life and doesn't shed a tear doing it, doesn't complain. She's thoughtful in every way. As soon as she started walking down the aisle and Peter started crying, I was in tears because of how happy he was. I've never seen that man happier in my life. And throughout everything else, I pray you guys be happy, you be healthy, and you love until the end. I just want to say, like, seeing Peter today, like, the way he was when she came down the aisle, I was like, that is all I've ever wanted for my best friend, was somebody who loves her as much as he does. And so I just want to say I'm very happy for both of you. I wish you all the lifetime of happiness, and you know I love you so much. Marriage as ordained by God and recognized by the church is a union of a man and a woman who have found special delight and strength in each other. God gave us marriage for the full expression of love between a man and a woman so that husband and wife may cherish and delight in one another, comfort and help each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow, provide for each other in temporal things, pray for and encourage each other in the things that pertain to God, and live together faithfully all the length of their days. I say, I am so glad to be saying this for the last time. Mackenzie Wayne Walsh, I tell you this every day, but what better day to repeat this than today? You're the love of my life, and on this day, I take you to be my wife. This is the part to grab tissue because this is my promise to you. <laughs> I promise to hold you tight. I promise to let you win fights. I promise I'll always listen. And I promise to get better at kissing. I promise to take you on many dates. And I promise to always let you sniff my plates. I promise to keep you comfortable and safe. I promise to prove that you're in the right place. In everything that we do, I promise to always love you. I love your kindness, your patience, and your selflessness. I adore your sense of humor, your ambitions, and our shared love for animals and children. <laughs> Thank you for supporting me, keeping me safe, happy, and unconditionally loved. I promise compassion, and lightheartedness, faithfulness, and patience to comfort you in your time of sorrow and distress. And I promise to listen and understand. I will encourage your wishes, your dreams, your desires. I love all that you are, all that you do, 
and who you are yet to become. It's a blessing to love you and to be loved by you, and I vow to forever keep this happiness. I'm enamored by this new chapter in life we are creating. I can't wait to make even more memories with you, traveling the world, starting our own family, and going home. By the authority granted to me as minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce that Peter McKenzie, your husband and wife, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peter, you may now kiss your pride. Yeah.